1v1 Shuangjie. After five years of marriage, Shen Anyue finally proposed a divorce. Lin Han looked at the divorce agreement with a cold expression and said, Do you have anything else you want? After divorce, she originally wanted to live her life well from now on, but to her surprise, she became pregnant keywords of the novel. After divorce, the wife takes her cup to be beautiful without a pop dot up window. After divorce, the wife takes her cup to be beautiful. Download the complete text. After divorce, the wife takes her cup to be beautiful. Read the latest chapters. Chapter 1. Don't forget to do homework. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Don't forget to do homework, that's all for today. Don't forget to do your homework even when you go home. In a classroom of an elementary school in Anyuan City, a woman was tidying up her textbooks while speaking to the students in the classroom. Okay, teacher. As she listened to the students' unanimous answers, and you smiled and turned around to walk out. Shen Anyue returned to the office, washed her hands of chalk and ash, carried her belongings to the parking lot, and drove directly to the vegetable market. Today is a special day for her. Looking at the display on her phone screen, March 1, 2020, today is the fifth year she and Lin Han have received their certificates. After graduating from university, she became a teacher at a primary school in Anyuan City, and even if she got married later, she did not resign. Saying it's marriage, actually it's just getting a certificate until now. There is no wedding, no announcement, and even my colleagues do not know that I am married. What exactly is supporting her in maintaining this marriage after five years? Is it still like being young and inexperienced? Is one person's love enough for a marriage between two people? Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, they're not because of love. Yes, he doesn't like Shen Anyue. Shen Anyue arrived without much thought. After parking the car, she entered the vegetable market. Over the past five years, many merchants here have become familiar with her. After buying groceries, she didn't stop and went straight back to the community. Shen Anyue cooked the meal, but he didn't seem to remember what day it was today, and she didn't remind him either. After the end of the night's rain and clouds, Lin Han stood up and went to the bathroom, only slowly opening her eyes when the sound of water came from inside. Shen Anyue never understood why after Grandpa Lin passed away, he did not propose marriage and has been living with her until now. After each end, she would go to the next room, and for five years, she had become accustomed to it. Sometimes this kind of thing feels like a monthly ante to her. Yeah, did she also go from being a young girl in love to being so numb now? It's just something that will never be beautiful again. After returning to the room and changing into clean clothes, Shen Anyue went out and returned to that room, which still had a faint scent of sexual desire. He has finished washing and only has a towel around his waist. As a workaholic, Lin Han does not have a beer belly, on the contrary, his figure has always been maintained very well. A slender figure is evident, with tight muscles and antique bronze skin, exuding a healthy aura. Drops of water from his hair slid down his neck. Finally, the loose and loose bathrobe slipped into the waist. They had already formed an invisible tacit understanding between them during these five years. For example, now she just calmly picks up a towel and helps him wipe his hair. His hair is of good quality and has just been cut. It's not particularly long yet, and it feels soft to the touch. Shen Anyue's fingers shuttle through his hair. There is a faint scent of shampoo on it. Compared to those more intimate things, Shen Anyue prefers this kind of time. He can't see herself, so she can pretend that he loves her very much. Pretend they are just an ordinary couple. She, like all wives from ordinary families, complains because her husband doesn't wipe his hair. Then, while rambling on, he carefully helped him do everything well. Isn't it ready yet? His voice suddenly remembered and pulled her back to reality. They couldn't do that. Anyue turned off the hair dryer, put away the towels, and then returned to the room. He sometimes goes to the study to work for a while before coming back. At first, 
the two of them were still in the same room. Later, because the two people had different schedules, it became what it is now. Shen Anyue threw herself onto the bed all at once. Only in this room can she truly feel herself and this marriage. After lying down for a while, she stood up, put on her shower cap, took on her clothes, and went into the bathroom. Warm water fell from her head and hit her body one after another. When I came out, I saw the woman inside through the mirror, with fair skin and a tight figure. The faint blush of hot water rising. She used to think she could still look good, but all these things over the past five years have made her suspect that she might be very ugly. After taking out some body lotion and taking simple care of herself, she began to doubt. My head hurts so much, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Consent to Marriage You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Consent to Marriage Shen Anyue touched her flat belly and after five years of marriage, they still had no children, their sexual life has always been normal. But no matter how hard Shen Anyue tried, they never had children. At the beginning, she even prescribed traditional Chinese medicine and wanted to have his child, but later she gave up on it herself. At that time, she was filled with joy. Too much expectation is poured into children. And now, Shen Anyue is also starting to understand. What's the difference between having children or not? Will he change after having a child? She is not an 18 year old girl. Is this kind of life really what she wants? Sometimes she can't help but want to ask herself. I suddenly remembered the first time I saw Lin Han after graduating from college. After receiving a call from her father saying that her grandfather was hospitalized, Shen Anyue hurriedly took a car to the hospital. When she arrived at the ward, several people had already gathered inside. There is an old man with white hair sitting in front of Grandpa's hospital bed. After Grandpa saw Shen Anyue, he let her go. Then Grandpa took her hand and asked her to recognize her, and Shen Anyue obediently and skillfully called out. After a while, Lin Han arrived. When she came in, she met Shen Anyue's gaze and stayed in place, this person, this face. At that moment, it seemed like she even thought, the difficulty was that heaven had heard her wish. How could she not know him, how could she not know him? How could one not know the person in front of them? He is even more dazzling now, and Shen Anyue turned her gaze to him, a sharply defined face, thick eyebrows, deep eyes, and a tall nose bridge, and those cold and thin lips. He politely nodded at Shen Anyue and headed towards his grandfather and the others. Then the two of them were pulled together. Until now, Shen Anyue realized that Grandpa Lin and Grandpa Shen were comrades in arms, the two of them arranged a baby kiss for the child. As a result, both Lin's father and Shen Anyue's father are boys. It's all up to her. Coincidentally, the hospital where my grandfather was hospitalized belongs to the Lin family. After hearing the news, Grandpa Lin has now seen this scene. Mrs. Lin's face was extremely pale. When Grandpa Shen asked him if he was willing, he only agreed after a little thought, and by the time Shen Anyue arrived, she was still in a shocked state. Finally, Shen Anyue agreed, and she couldn't possibly disagree. At that time, she was filled with joy and anticipation for her future life. So she ignored Mrs. Lin's increasingly ugly face, neglecting the huge gap between two families and the distance between two individuals. I only want to marry him. They received the certificate that afternoon. Not long after, my grandfather was gone. The wedding that was supposed to be held has come to an end. After one year of marriage, Grandpa Lin is also gone. They have no wedding, no wedding photos, the only photo is the one on their wedding certificate. She used to hold on to everything with a grudge. But now, she has gradually lost interest. Because caring is useless, she already knows. Looking at the spots left under the collarbone, Shen Anyue couldn't help but laugh out loud. It's rare, leaving a trace for the first time. Lin Han never left a mark on her, even on the first time. The first time was not very wonderful, 
she only remembered that she was about to crack open. Even now, I can occasionally derive some pleasure from these relationships. Unconsciously, Shen Anyue also fell asleep. After the alarm clock rang in the morning, she reached out from under the bed and pinched it, flipping it for a few minutes before getting up. Anyway, she has to get up and cook. Tie your hair, change into clothes, and then go downstairs. Lin Han's stomach is not good. For the past five years, she has been cooking breakfast every morning. For the past five years, Shen Anyue has been accustomed to cooking for him every morning, helping him organize the clothes he needs to wear every day, and matching them with a tie. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 When Will You Be Back? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 When Will You Be Back? Shen Anyue had just brought Kanji to the table when he came down. He was always so punctual. It seems that her time is precise to every minute and second. After they finished their meal together, it was he who left the door first. There is an event at the company today, so there's no need to deliver lunch. He said before leaving. Okay, I got it. Afterwards, Shen Anyue also went upstairs, changed her clothes, put on a simple makeup, took books and textbooks, and she also went out. Shen Anyue drove to school by herself. She has always had her own car. Lin Han also has many cars, and they are all luxury cars. But for Shen Anyue, those are not suitable for her. Shen Anyue has her own life and friends, and she doesn't want others to know that Shen Anyue is Mrs. Lin. She only wants to do what she likes. I finally got this job back then, how could I easily not do it? After returning to school, Shen Anyue rushed to the office without stopping. On the way, Shen Anyue had already received a call from the principal. When she arrived at the office, most of the teachers were already there. After investigation, it was discovered that it was only an open class, but some parents also came to prepare Shen Anyue. After asking some questions, Shen Anyue went to the classroom and communicated with the students before returning to the office to prepare for the lecture. The effect of the open class was very good. After it ended, I originally planned to go home directly, but a few female teachers made an appointment to have a barbecue together. She thought for a moment and realized that she hadn't eaten with them for a long time before agreeing. I may be back later tonight, and I'll have my aunt cook dinner for you Shen Anyue thought for a moment, but still sent a text message to Lin Han. After sending the text message, I put down my phone and started chatting with them. Later, my phone ran out of battery and turned off, so I didn't see the message sent on my phone. When will you be back when Lin Han was planning to leave work and go home after finishing his work, he opened his phone and happened to see the message from Shen Anyue. He had originally intended to say something good, but after thinking about it, the two of them are husband and wife, and it seems a bit bad not to say anything. After sending it out, they didn't pay attention and went straight home. I only found out when I got home that only my aunt was there. After asking, I found out that Shen Anyue had not returned yet. When I opened my phone, I didn't receive any response. He took a shower as usual and then went to work in the study. When he came out of the study at around 10 p.m., Shen Anyue had not returned yet. Just as he was about to take out his phone and make a phone call, a voice suddenly came from the door and he saw her cautiously enter. Suddenly, I remembered turning off the light left by Aunt Joan when I just got down. Looking at her like that, Lin Han felt a bit guilty. As the saying goes, three women play a play, and Shen Anyue and several female teachers are together, from school to students, from love to family. Unconsciously, it was already past ten o'clock. When I came back, there were no lights left. I thought it was because Lin Han had already fallen asleep, otherwise if it were Aunt Joan, she would have left the lights for her. After taking off his high heels, he tiptoed up the stairs step by step, trying not to make any noise. Suddenly, there was a person standing on the second floor, and the lights were not turned on. Ah, 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 Shen Anyue shouted out loud, she was really scared. She was already worried enough to come back so late. 
Shen Anyue thinks that Lin Han may not be very concerned about where she is going or when she will come back. After all, he has been married for five years, and it's not necessarily that he cares about himself. You haven't slept yet. Good night, I'll go up first. The more we speak, the quieter the sound becomes. Then he turned over and slipped past Lin Han. Lin Han looked at Shen Anyue who had slipped past him. Did you drink alcohol? This is an affirmative sentence. I drank a little bit, she said, gesturing with her hand. Well, let's wash and go to sleep. Okay, good night. Shen Anyue. Don't think too much, I just want to play with my phone, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Disliking Oneself You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Disliking Oneself After Lin Han finished speaking, he turned around and entered the room, leaving only Shen Anyue standing on the floor of the second floor. And her palms are now filled with sweat. Seeing that Lin Han has already entered the room. She patted her chest and took a deep breath, which scared her to death. However, on second thought, she suddenly felt that she was so ridiculous, clearly married to her. Now when I go out and come back, I still have to act like a thief. After being startled by Lin Han, Shen Anyue let out the breath she had been holding. Shen Anyue drooped her head and dragged her tired body step by step towards the second bed. After entering the room, the whole person lay on the bed and took a comfortable breath, due to drinking alcohol, my nerves have become tense again today. I have suddenly relaxed and my head is starting to feel dizzy. I'll just lie down for a while, just a few minutes, and then I'll go wash up then he slowly fell asleep, and Lin Han, who was waiting for Shen Anyue in the master bedroom, saw that she hadn't come in yet, after lying down for a while and waiting for a while, she still didn't come in, so she lifted the blanket, put on her slippers, and walked out. He always knew that Shen Anyue usually slept in the second bed, so he lifted his foot and walked to the side. I arrived at the door and found that it was not closed. The lights inside were not turned off either. There was no sound at all. Thinking of the smell of alcohol on her body again, could it be pushing the door in, I realized that this room was not in the same style as the one they lived in. Lin Han came to this room for the first time and couldn't help but sigh, it turns out that there is such a room in the house, he now understands that Shen Anyue has always lived here. In fact, sometimes he doesn't understand why she comes here to live. Even though it's okay there, he thinks it's because she doesn't want to sleep with others, but he doesn't say it himself. The result is good, this time lying down has become her happy little world. Look at this cabinet full of clothes, things on the ground, and strange little dolls. Upon second thought, all of these things were in my own room. It's still over here. After standing at the door for a while, Lin Han still walked in. He walked inside and the wardrobe was filled with clothes that he had never seen before. The bed was piled up with various dolls of all sizes, and the sheets and duvet covers were light blue. Various textbooks are piled up on the table, with a pen holder and a schedule pasted directly in front of the table. The open books are filled with red and black notes. There is also a pair of off-white Mickey Mouse slippers under the table. There is a calendar and a bouquet of flowers next to it. Perhaps it has just been purchased, and even after getting closer, one can still smell its faint aroma. And that woman, lying among the pile of dolls, slept soundly. Seeing all of this, Lin Han's lungs were almost bursting with anger. Okay, I was waiting on the other side, but she was so lucky that she fell asleep here. Lin Han was so angry that he wanted to go back. Then it was discovered that Shen Anyue had not covered herself with a blanket. I went back and helped her cover it up. His movements were gentle, as if afraid of waking that person up, and no one saw anything unusual about him, including himself. If she gets sick, no one will cook for him tomorrow, and it may infect him. He keeps making excuses to explain his abnormal behavior. Then I went back to the master bedroom and fell asleep, only to find that Shen Anyue's room was repeatedly in my mind, as if that was her heaven and earth. Compared to there, 
This room was lifeless, and this thought persisted in his mind, causing him to suffer from insomnia for the first time. Shen'an Yue, who was unaware of this, slept until she woke up naturally. When she woke up, she found that she had not washed herself last night and had fallen down. Now, there was a foul smell all over her body. I couldn't bear it anymore. After putting on her slippers, she went into the restroom. Wash your face, brush your teeth, and take a shower. I really feel a lot better. Then go down to the kitchen to make breakfast. Thank you for giving me some recommended tickets, babies. It's so touching, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 Dinner is ready. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Dinner is ready The ingredients of these kanji are bought in the supermarket, and then adjusted according to a certain proportion. They are packaged in bags, so that it is convenient to take them out directly when cooking. After all, she also has to work in the morning. After cooking, I quickly ran back to change clothes, put on some makeup, put on clothes, and put on textbooks and materials. When I got back to the kitchen, kanji was already cooked. When it was put into a bowl and just put on the table, Lin Han came down. I don't know if it's her illusion, she feels like Lin Han is very angry. Kanji is on the table, I will go to work first. Now she has no time to think why he is angry. She will be late for work. Because she woke up this morning with a shower time, and she also had the first class in the morning. But Lin Han's face turned even worse after she left. Humph, now he's not even willing to perfunctory. In the past, he was clearly not allowed to behave, isn't he not as good as her job of several thousand yuan per month? Angry and angry, Lin Han obediently had breakfast before going to work. After Shen'an Yue finished work in the afternoon, she took her to the vegetable market and bought some vegetables and meat. In the evening, she personally cooked rice. Just as she cooked the soup, Lin Han came back. Seeing her busy in the kitchen, Lin Han just glanced lightly and then went upstairs. Upon hearing the sound coming from the entrance, she turned around with a faint smile on her face and said, Have you come back? You can eat soon. She continued with her work. Compared to the role of a wife, she feels more like a nanny. And also a willing nanny. After the meal was ready, he hadn't come down yet. Shen Anyue went upstairs to the study, and as expected, he was there. Eating now, okay. She has a variety of colors, aromas, and flavors, and her craftsmanship is very good. Moreover, the backyard plot she used for growing vegetables is also natural. At the dinner table, everything is quiet. After finishing my meal, I got up to tidy up the dishes. She always does this kind of thing, but sometimes when she's too busy, Aunt Joan also helps. Sometimes taking care of his life and daily life is also a happy thing for her. After taking a shower in the room at night, she went to the master bedroom. When she arrived, Lin Han was not there, so she took out her textbook and started preparing for the lesson, possibly due to heating issues. I'm still too tired. Slowly, my eyelids became heavier and heavier, and I fell asleep unconsciously. When Lin Han came over, she was already asleep, with her book still on the blanket. The pen in her hand drew a few disharmonious lines on the notebook. He walked over gently, took the book and pen from his hand, slowly wrapped his left hand around her neck, and laid the pillow flat with the other hand, then slowly placed her on the pillow. After he had finished all this, he watched the sleeping woman secretly start to compete with him again. Because I didn't use the restroom before going to bed, I woke up in the middle of the night. Because Lin Han was already asleep, he didn't turn on the lights and went to the bathroom in the dark. When the result came out, I accidentally stepped on my shoe and, for some reason, tripped over myself, falling on Lin Han's body. Warmth emanates from the places where the body comes into contact. I was so scared that I had to remember. After a series of actions, I noticed something unusual about Lin Han. Sure enough and the consequence of this is that she got up late. Fortunately, there was no class for her this morning. 
In fact, it was only about an hour longer than usual when I took the nearby phone and realized that the alarm had been turned off. Oi, my Anya is finally free, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Sleeping In You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Sleeping In I suddenly remembered that I didn't get up to cook breakfast, but now it's so late, Andy must have come over to do it, and now Lin Han should be going to work, so he lay back with peace of mind. It could be because I was too tired, so I slept soundly. It's already past 11 o'clock when I wake up again. After changing the sheets and covers, I went downstairs to wash up. I poured a glass of water down and went back after finishing it. After a brief grooming, I walked towards the backyard. Clean up the vegetable garden, which is also the most comfortable place for her here. This vegetable garden has a large area, and originally she was just trying to avoid boredom. I asked Lin Han if he could let himself handle it. The result was also agreed. In fact, she didn't have any plans either. Later on, she thought about growing her own vegetables. Her mother was already very fond of raising some fruits and vegetables, and under her influence, she was also skilled. Back then, my friends all said that it's really a pity she didn't report gardening, it's just a joke however, this skill is not something that the Lin family can handle, and she has no intention of sharing it. He should feel very embarrassed. She now remembers every time Mrs. Lin came over here, she would mock and mock her. She doesn't want to argue with others, nor does she want to argue. Otherwise, how could she still call Mrs. Lin every time now? I spent a day planning, searched for pictures online, drew them on paper, purchased materials, and hired workers. The bamboo used for enclosure, as well as the trellis used for making grapes, I bought grass seeds and hydrangeas. Grape seedlings, and strawberries. The next day, things began to arrive one by one. The house itself has a fence. So in the arrangement of the three walls in the backyard, embroidered ball flowers were planted on the side connecting the house. There are different varieties of climbing roses planted near the roadside. A piece of empty space was left at the innermost part of the yard, and a master was hired to make a tea table. A path paved with bluestone slabs came out from the tea table. It is S-dot-shaped. Dig a few holes on the roadside, press in the purchased wood, and use bamboo to create a grid on top. Then plant the grapes next to the wood. Wrap the grapes around the pillar with wire or thread. The yard is divided into two sides due to the road, and short bamboo is used to form a square about 50 centimeters apart from the grape trellis, about one meter away. Divide the middle plot into small pieces, loosen the soil, sprinkle fertilizer, and then sprinkle the purchased vegetable seeds on top. Regularly water them. Sprinkle grass seeds on the other side to use as a lawn for rest. You can also barbecue. Thinking of the future scene, I couldn't help but smile. The strawberries I bought come with pots and are placed around the tea table. This way, you can pick it casually. After arriving at the yard, he took off the apron and hat hanging from the side and started working. The yard is lush, pick up scissors and trim the hydrangea flowers first. Cut off the ones that are pressed on the ground and the ones that are broken inside, and that's it. Roses have already climbed all over the wall and need to be trimmed almost once a year. Now that the workload is high, sometimes we can only hire a master if we are too busy. Just cut off the newly grown tender buds. Then cut off the section to the director. Pull out the old vegetable leaves in the garden. After leveling the land, you can sprinkle fertilizer and replant vegetables. Pink roses crawled all over the yard, and Shen Anyue knew that the family should be having a dinner together in a few days, the second year after her yard was decorated. Since Lin Han's friends came to visit, they have been gathering for dinner every year. Using machines directly on the lawn is too big. If you fix it yourself, it will become useless. After finishing his work, Lin Han saw that Shen Anyue had not returned yet and walked towards the backyard. Damn it, I have a baby so soon, end of this chapter. Chapter 7, Don't You Dislike It? 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Don't you dislike it Shin Anyue in the yard didn't see her, Lin Han looked at this woman who was slightly different from usual. He seems to have never looked at her carefully before. Now when I think about it, I can only think of delicious food. No matter what I encounter, she seems to always be like that. I don't care about anything, I don't care about anything. Since getting married, I have never made any mistakes, nor have I made any mistakes. When did he first see her? Is it when we get married? Or earlier? Lin Han shook his head and smiled. When did I become so bored myself? Shen Anyue in the yard carefully takes care of the flowers. The linen-colored dress and the fried dough twists braid fell down her neck. Her face was already slightly sweating, but she didn't seem to care. She seemed very happy, humming an unknown tune in her mouth, like a little bee in a flower bush. Lin Han was surprised by his own idea. He calmly took a sip of coffee and continued to watch her busy. When Shenan Yue said he wanted this courtyard, he didn't expect it to be done so well. She stood there, now she's different from usual, now she looks really happy. There was no reserved expression in front of him. After tidying up the withered branches and leaves on the ground, she picked up the cut flowers and walked towards him. For a moment, Lin Han's heartbeat accelerated. He didn't know that this woman was so beautiful. He seemed to have never noticed that she looked like this before. It turns out that her eyes, nose, and mouth are like this. His thoughts accidentally returned to those nights, the warmth of his palms, the collisions. What's wrong? Shen Anyue panicked when she turned around and saw Lin Han. She doesn't know why he's here, he rarely comes on a regular basis. Shen Anyue's voice interrupted Lin Han's thoughts. It's nothing, come out and take a look. He carefully concealed his inner restlessness and abnormal body. He thought to himself that not going to the company today was indeed a wrong decision. After speaking, he turned around and returned to his room. Shen Anyue followed him into the door and took out all the flowers in the living room to throw away. Wash the vase, refill with water, and add preservatives. Then insert all the trimmed flowers. Every place in the house has been adorned with flowers, except for the master bedroom and study. Obviously, after five years of marriage, Lin Han finally realized this problem. Why aren't there any flowers in the study? He turned to her with coffee in his hand. Ah, aren't you not fond of it? Actually, when I think about it now, Shen Anyue doesn't seem to have heard him personally say that he doesn't like it. Plug it in. After finishing speaking, I went straight to the study. That's probably the second year, when our family held their first gathering. She carried coffee to the study, and the people inside were talking. Aren't you not fond of flowers? Why, the taste has changed now, she heard one of them say. That was the first time the flowers had bloomed, and she had decorated everything in the house. Did you originally dislike it? Later on, it was never installed again. I'll plug it in now. He didn't say anything, he just assumed it. Shen Anyue took the vase and went up. When she came down, Aunt Joan was cooking. After finishing her meal, she had to go to school and went out. When I came back at night, Aunt Joan was also cooking, so it was great to have a good rest. After finishing her meal, she went straight upstairs. The second male appeared, he's the person I like. That's right, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 I Damage You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 I damage I need to go back and see what kind of vegetable seeds I want to buy, and I need to tidy up my things tomorrow. Thinking of being able to go home and see my parents soon, my footsteps became noticeably light and agile. She is an only child, and although her family's conditions cannot be compared to those of the Lin family, her parents have been doting on her since childhood, later, Due to an agreement between the two elderly families, she married Lin Han just after graduating from college. The two only hastily obtained the certificate and have not held a wedding until now. Although her parents never mentioned it, 
she knew that they were somewhat unwilling to let her marry Lin Han. After all, apart from the old man, no one in the Lin family liked her back then. And now that the old man has been away for several years, the relationship between the Lin family and their family is still neither salty nor indifferent. Yes, the Lin family is a famous wealthy family in Anyuan City, and after Lin Han returned from studying abroad, he took over the Lin group. Under his leadership, Lin has become one of the top domestic enterprises in just a few years. And Lin Han himself has become a single diamond king. There are many people who want to marry him, but where can they turn to themselves? The only fortunate possibility is that since the two got married, Lin Han has also been keeping himself clean. There are no scandals, and there is nothing to say to her. But for girls, sometimes material things are nothing compared to love. Shen family, every time Shen Anyue and Lin Han come back, Shen's mother feels a bit uneasy. Shen's father knew what his wife was thinking when he saw her, so he walked up gently. He hugged his wife and comforted her. Don't think so much. Children and grandchildren have their own blessings. And I don't think Lin Han is like those playboys. Yu Yu has always been a determined child. We also need to trust him. They're not coming back today. Let's go buy some groceries. Actually, I am also worried. And Yu is his daughter who has been spoiled since childhood, and she is also sensible and obedient. Unfortunately, with such a wealthy family, can she really achieve happiness? As a parent, he just wants her to be happy and happy. But how many people in this world can truly live happily and happily? As they spoke, the two of them went out together. On this side of Yunyuan. After dinner, she went upstairs. They rarely get along alone for five years. She still finds it extremely unnatural to be with him. At night, I still took a shower before coming to the master bedroom. When I came in. For the first time, Lin Han was not in the study. You should know that he is usually there at this time. Roast goes back to roast, but Shen Anyue still pulls back the quilt and lies on it. After playing with his phone for a while, Lin Han still didn't feel like sleeping. Shen Anyue was so tired that she pulled the blanket and covered herself before going to bed. This will damage the eyes, he said, pulling down the blanket a bit. After a while, she heard him say, oh. Move over here and don't have to go back tonight in the future. After speaking, Lin Han gently pulled the blanket and lay down. Leave Shen Anyue alone tossing and turning in the darkness. She didn't understand what she meant, and over the years, she didn't dare to think in that way. She had already lost that aspect of her thoughts. The next day, it wasn't the alarm clock that woke her up, but her phone because she only went to bed very late last night. I thought I was covering myself with a blanket in my own room now, as if covering myself would prevent me from hearing. The CEO's petite wife has escaped, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Come Back Together You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Come Back Together When the phone rang for the second time, Lin Han woke up completely. I took a look at Shen Anyue sleeping next to me like a little pig. I took her phone and helped her answer the call. Moon, are you coming back today by yourself or are you coming back with Lin Han? Shen Mu's gentle voice rang out over there. Mom, today I'm going back with you you. She hasn't woken up yet. We'll go back after we finish our meal, Lin Han replied respectfully. Okay, Shen's mother over there may not have thought it was Lin Han who answered the phone, so she paused for a moment before replying. The parents of the Shen family are happy about this phone call. Because it proves that no matter what, the lives of Shen Anyue and Lin Han are still very stable now. After hanging up the phone, Lin Han sat up directly, looked at the people sleeping in a circle next to him, and lightly got out of bed. Last night, Lin Han told Aunt Joan not to come back today. So Lin Han went into the kitchen by himself, baked a few slices of bread, fried two eggs, and had two cups of milk. Then I went upstairs to call Shen Anyue. Unexpectedly, she had already woken up, 
staring blankly on the bed with a chicken coop on her head. Lin Han became more and more amused as he looked at her. He had never seen her like this in five years. After watching for a while, he finally spoke up and called her. Come down for dinner. At the moment of hearing this sound, I felt something was not going well. At first glance, the person leaned against the door frame loosely, looking at themselves with a joyful expression on their face. It's over, it's over. There is only one idea in my mind. Why did you forget to sleep here? After seeing his gaze, Shen Anyue suddenly crawled back into the blanket. Only a deep burst of laughter remained. She felt even more embarrassed. After a while, he crawled out of the bed and took a sneak look to find that no one was around before slowly entering the restroom. He then went back to his own room to change clothes before coming down. It's too awkward. Whenever she thinks of her morning appearance, she wants to just crawl under the table. After the two finished their meal, Lin Han drove back together. I originally wanted to tell him that she didn't have to go if she was busy, but these days Lin Han has given her a strange feeling and she's even more afraid to speak up. After arriving home, Lin Han followed Shen's father to the study. And his own mother is an old topic, is Lin Han good to her? After the mother and daughter talked for a while, they naturally talked about the child's issue. Actually, she also finds it strange that she hasn't had any children since she was married for five years. Of course, whether or not there are children seems to be a good thing now. But whether it's my parents or the Lin family's old house, it's the same. The two of them didn't go back until they had dinner. Having been speechless all the way, I remembered my mother's words that she might not be able to conceive because of her own relationship. Although she had said them many times, it was inevitable that she would take them to heart. What she can't escape every time is this problem, and it's not that she doesn't want it, but it's just that she doesn't. What's her solution? And having a child is not something she can do alone. Suddenly, is it not my own problem, but rather no, it won't. How could it be? Thinking of this, she couldn't help but laugh out loud. And Lin Han felt even more strange, as she seemed to be lost in her own contemplation since getting on the car. Then suddenly he burst out laughing again. And she seemed to be aware of the problem, quietly turning her head to the other side. Leave only red ears. I saw seagulls today, hee hee, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 No Health Problems You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 no health problems after finishing class the next day, I rushed to the hospital and wanted to take a good look, whether it was her problem or not. After arriving at the hospital, there were blood tests and B.ultrasound. After the examination, I waited there to receive the results. Since getting married for five years, the two have had an intimate relationship almost every month, but the eldest aunt has always been normal. I'm a bit skeptical now whether I really can't get pregnant. Miss, there is no problem with your body, it's just a slight palace cold. If you want to prepare for pregnancy, you still need to take good care of yourself, the doctor paused for a moment and continued. Actually, getting pregnant is not necessarily your responsibility. It's best for your partner to do a comprehensive check dot up together. When I heard this sentence, I immediately thought of my own thoughts from yesterday. Then he shook his head, thanked him, and left. After Shen Anyue left, Zhou Heng took out his phone. Lin, I heard you're going to have a child and Lin Han, who saw this, had no expression on his face. In the next few minutes, he knew the whole story. Shen Anyue never suspected that Lin Hanxing couldn't do it, but now she has no health problems and thinks of what the doctor just said. Is Lin Han really not capable? It doesn't seem like he's not capable like that. But fortunately, there is no problem with myself. After returning home and cooking, the two of them finished their meal and went to their own room to prepare for their lessons. I didn't finish the presentation for tomorrow until around 10 o'clock. After checking that there were no issues, I turned off the computer. After a brief wash, Lin Han was also there when he went in. 
I don't know if it's her illusion. She didn't think much about the strange and unpleasant way he looked at her, so she took off her shoes and went to bed. Do you like children? Lin Han next to him spoke. She thought for a moment, why did she suddenly ask her this question? Then I thought of the children in my class. Smiling, he said. I like it, what's wrong? She couldn't understand why Lin Han asked herself this question. Is it because he also wants children? As Lin Han looked at her gentle expression, he suddenly thought that having two people and one child seemed like a good thing, and she should be a good mother. Before, every time Lin Han had a relationship, she either wore a condom or was in her safe period. But since she also likes children, it's okay to have one. As he spoke, he put down his phone and suddenly pulled her towards him. To be honest, she was a bit confused. The night was lingering, and by the end, Lin Han was tightly holding her, and he was really tired. Shen Anyue fell asleep slowly. Lin Han looked at Shen Anyue's sleeping face. I can't help but imagine what their child looks like in my mind. For the next month, Lin Han worked exceptionally hard every night, seemingly using endless energy every day, while Shen Anyue was really miserable. She was already tired of attending classes and had to bear Lin Han's enthusiasm. So when Chen Fei invited her to attend a concert, she agreed without hesitation because the concert would end very late. This is a piano concert, and by the time they arrived, there were already many people. Not long after, the lights suddenly dimmed and the concert officially began. Then a woman suddenly appeared on stage. She was wearing a white strapless dress, with slightly curled long hair draped behind her, a slender neck, and slender fingers dancing on the piano keys. After finishing the song, thunderous applause came from the scene. I'm so tired, end of this chapter.